today's recipe is oven baked whole salmon so that's the fish as you can all see so i already cleaned it by uh you removing all the scales and then washing it with salt and vinegar so the smell is so the smell is not very fishy well uh, you can all enjoy it at home and uh, have a good time so now i'm just gonna show you how how to do my marination and then put it in the oven and finally i'll show you the end result so let's get, get to the marination part i'll just put put the marination in this bowl and then i'll just uh, put in the fish so first ingredient we would need is salt just uh, white salt nothing too fancy so we'll put a good amount of salt because it's a big fish so we'll need a pretty good amount okay so i just took uh, about one one tablespoon of salt i i basically just go with my instinct the next ingredient that's gonna that i'm gonna use is uh red chili powder just gonna put a good amount about that it's about one tablespoon also and next, I'm gonna use uh, black pepper. Salt and black pepper is the most important ingredients, at least for me. So I'm just gonna put about one tablespoon or a bit more of black pepper. And then, I just like this ingredient a lot. It's uh, cumin powder, but it really depends on what, whatever you want. But I'm gonna put a little bit of that, just for the fragrance and the taste that it gives to the dish about one teaspoon or so of cumin powder and now I'm gonna take this lemon and then squeeze it in the mixture so just cut it in half just squeeze it in I really like lemon and it has a lot more juice than, than a lime and it gives it a really really good fragrance and a good taste so that's why i'm just using lemon but like it really depends on what you want so if you want like a more uh, strong acidic flavor you just you may just use uh, a lime but it'll do the same thing i'm just putting this just for the acidity and as you can see that i'm not using a lot of uh, like spices and stuff because i don't want the flavor of the fish to like disappear like I, I want it, I want the I want the people to get the real taste of salmon and also like and also like taste my spices that I'm gonna use so it should be a good combination of the both and should be a good taste at the end just gonna finish the whole lemon and then I'll uh, come to you guys after I've just finished it, finished the whole lemon so you can see all the juice that came out and also in here I have a mixture of avocado and uh, olive oil so if you don't have avocado oil just use olive oil and not not too much just a drizzle should be good enough and now as you can see i never use water or any kind of uh, any liquid uh, it's just the oil the olive oil and the uh, and the uh, lemon juice so i'm just gonna mix it around with my hand so there's no lumps or whatever and it becomes a paste basically just like that Should be good enough. I'm just gonna start rubbing it. Now I'm just gonna use some pink salt. And then I'm just gonna uh, put some salt on top of the fish skin and also inside the belly. And then do the same thing by turning the fish around. There. Should be good enough. Just flip it around a few times. There. And also some black pepper. That should be good. Also in the inside of the belly. Should be good enough. 
just rub it and flip the fish and then do the same there should be good enough okay now i'm just gonna transfer now now i'm just gonna transfer the fish to the baking tray because i can bake in this tray obviously so okay so i'm just placing the fish in the baking tray like that and now i'm gonna put the marination inside but before that i gotta slice up some chives and some thyme that's just gonna give it some good flavor and then some herby taste in it Okay, now is the fun part. Now we just mix the marination and the sli and the sliced and the minced herbs together. So it's like a paste. And now just take the brush, start brushing. It's like painting almost. Just paint over the fish. Go. Uh, I'd say go in like straight lines. Or if you go in one motion, just keep going in one motion. Cause that's just gonna make the fish look good like if you just go in zigzag ways like once the fish is cooked it'll just look messy kind of so that's why i just go in this motion and then just pull it down there okay so the top is done now i'm gonna open up the fish and put it inside the belly that the flavor is gonna go inside the fish if you put it there so that's a really important part put a good amount don't be shy don't be scared okay so once we're done with the belly we just close that and then the rest we put once it's all covered, you think. Now we just flip the whole fish. And do the same with the other side. Okay, as you all can see, I have still some mixture left that you need for later because we gotta keep putting the mixture on top of the fish once it's in the oven as well so we'll just save that for later so now i'm gonna preheat the oven at uh, 375 fahrenheit 175 degrees celsius for around 10 minutes and in the meantime i'll wash my hand i'm gonna use the mixture of olive oil and avocado oil that I already told you about and drizzle some on top of the fish that just keeps the fish moist and no doesn't dry up now I'm, I have to cover the whole tray with uh, foil uh, the foil is a big part because that's gonna help the fish to cook all the way through okay so I'm just gonna wrap the foil all the way around So you just gotta tightly seal the area so as you can see there's still some area that the air can go through so i'm gonna put uh two more pieces of uh foil and wrap it that way i just finished wrapping the whole tray properly so now i'm just gonna take a knife and then poke some holes through the foil and that's gonna help the air to go through and help the whole fish to boil 
and help the whole fish to cook properly so it's not raw inside so now I'm just gonna wait for the oven to preheat and then I'll show you the rest okay so it's been 10 minutes the oven has been preheated as you all can see so now it's time for me to put the fish inside the oven There it goes. So nice. I'm just gonna close the timer and then now I'm just gonna set the timer for about 18 to 20 minutes. And if it, it's, it's just fish, so we don't have to put it for that long. So I'll just uh, put 18 minutes in the clock, but it really depends on the size of the fish. And if it's meat or something like that, like chicken or like whatever you try, you're baking, then you gotta put at least 25 minutes and then go from there. But as it's just fish, I'm just gonna put 18 minutes in the clock for now. So 18 minutes is done. I'll take the fish up out of the oven. So we gotta take the foil off. Okay, so I'm just taking the foil off now. Like that. There. So, as you all can see, that the fish is cooked through now. So, we don't have to put the fish in the oven for too long. Now we just have to put the marination that we had right here. For, and put it on top of the fish just to get, just to get the color, the reddish kind of color. So I'll just put it on this side and not flip it this time and then put it in for six minutes and then I'll just turn it and then do the same with the other side and put it in for like four to six more minutes and that should be done. There. So now we're gonna put it back in. for about let's say five minutes it really depends uh, like it's in between four to six minutes so mine is mine is fully cooked through so now just to get the color I'll just put it for five minutes okay, five minutes has been over and now, I'm going to take the fish out. And we got to flip the fish on the other side. And then put the marination on top of it. As you all can see that the fish is coming apart so that's just the indication that the fish is properly cooked so I'm, I'm not gonna put it in the oven for too long so I'll just put it for four more minutes so but before that I have to uh, put the marination on top of the fish to get the nice red color so I'm just gonna put whatever I had left and just basically put it on top And just brush we can go we can go too rough on this side because as you all can see the fish is really tender at the moment so we want that 
because that's just really nice so i'll just brush it lightly and actually i'll just put it in for two more minutes because it's all cooked through so we, we should we don't have to put it for that long it's just for the it's just for the marination to set in the skin so that's why i'm just gonna put two more minutes and it should be perfectly fine There. Completed. So I'm just gonna close and then turn on the oven, turn off the oven, and that's our end result. As you all can see, it's really falling apart from the fish. That just means it's really tender inside, and the marination has a really good taste. So you could all try it at home and enjoy.